you guys how you can have free access to chat gpt5 and this access is unlimited so you can use it without any limit well i'm not sure if there's any limit but just try it out guys it's not the usual chat gpt where you can only have free access for two times and this one if you're going to go using directly the copilot so this url right here copilot.microsoft.com slash chats so go to that url or you can just simply head over to bing.com and type in copilot chat gpt and here just click the chat gpt link copilot link right there now once you have this what you're gonna do is uh, select the option right here look at this smart gpt dash five all right to be able to access that you need to sign in so sign in with your google account that will become your microsoft account so it has to be signed in to be able to access this smart gpt five right here now, what I want to try, if this really works as the usual version of ChatGPT, we're going to try this prompt to create a WordPress custom theme. Now, what I'm going to do, I'll just grab a copy of this entire prompt. And here, I pasted that in a blank notepad. So this is going to be the niche. For example, you're creating a blog theme for a particular niche. Then the theme name. So if you notice, we have here a folder name. And since we are not going to buy code this in Kilo code in Klein using VS Code, just remove that option. And you will notice right here that it is asking to create a theme folder. So just remove the that instruction and just keep this create a complete custom WordPress theme for a blog website called then the theme name. So we'll be using the best carpet cleaner. So I'm just going to grab a copy of this and I'll come back here in the copilot chat. Now paste that right there. So paste everything. And now let's execute this. There you go, guys. So it completed our theme. So just in one prompt, okay, it just took around, uh, I think, two to three minutes to complete everything. And it has the project structure here. So what you're going to do is you will need to manually create all these files right here. It's all available. So as you can see, we have the style that CSS, we have the functions that CSS, everything that you requested in that prompt right there. Now it's time for us to have a look whether we are able to produce decent looking team just using this copilot chat with GPT-5 access. So here we have this local WordPress set up in our computer. So if you want to set up a local WordPress, just download this application. It's called local WP. You can create as many sample WordPress as you want in your local file. Now we will click this VS code and you will see right here, these are your WordPress files. Now inside the team, I'm just going to create a new folder. I will call it chat GPT team, that GPT five. All right, now let's go back to our chat GPT result. I will need to manually create all these files, so it's very easy. So I'll give you an example. So if we're gonna create style.css, so you copy the file name, go back to your VS Code, right click, just select this new file and paste the, or just type in the style.css, the file name, just like that, and come back here, copy the code and paste it. That's it. So you just have to do that for the rest of the file. So your guideline here is the file structure. I also generated the hero section image using this same chat GPT. So I just generated this for us to use as hero section image. I'm just quickly going to create all these files and let's see how it's going to look like. So next one is functions.php. All right, that's done. So it didn't take me two minutes, more than two minutes. So as you can see, we have all the files here created. So we have the front page, single, everything. We all created the templates. Now there's just this folder structure that you need to follow because everything I created just in the parent folder. So for example, this main.js. So I need to create a folder assets and then JS. So let's do that. So I'm going to create a new folder under the theme. Let's call this assets. And inside that, we're going to create two folders, which is JS and another one is CSS. All right. Now we're going to drag the main.js. So this is the main.js. Let's put it inside the CSS. And we're going to drag the main.css inside this CSS folder. And that's it. I think that's all we need to run our team. I'm just going to get a copy of this and name it as hero section.png. So as you can see, I also drive that inside the assets. So this will be the folder structure. Now, after all we created this team, we are now ready to check whether we are able to produce a good quality WordPress team using this free version of ChatGPT 5 via Microsoft Copilot. So here in your local WP, go to the WP admin. So go to teams and you will see right there, that's our new team right there. So we're going to activate it and let's have a look how it's going to appear. All right, look at this. This is going to be our um, team. So you need to really generate an icon too. So we have the about and we have this beautiful FAQ section right here. And it's all working. Look at that. Look how beautiful it is. And we have this latest post. So here by default, it's using the hero section. But if we want to create new posts, so let's type in, uh, let's try to create post. So here, 
Just type on Google Best Carpet so you will get some ideas of the content that you're gonna create here and the people also has. So let me just grab two, maybe these two right here, how to tell good quality carpet and what is the longest lasting carpet. I'm just gonna grab a copy of this too. I'll just generate quickly anything particularly a generator to quickly do my work, but you can generate them manually. But in case you need more articles like 50 or 100, so you can use this to make sure your task easy. So let me just generate this and I will also grab featured image so we can exactly see how it will look like in post section. And since it's in our local, I'm not gonna auto post that. I will post them manually. I'll just need some articles. So let's generate them. All right, as you can see, they're all completed. Let's have a look, one of the article right here. So this is what is the longest lasting type of carpet. We have the beautiful featured image right here. I'm just gonna save this to be set as the featured image of this post. And here I'm gonna copy the title. So here in the post, let me create a new post that's a title. Let me set the featured image of this article. Set the featured image. All right, then we copy the content and paste it right here. So when you're copying a content with the featured image here in Article AI Generator, the featured image will be copied as well. But since we already set the featured image, so we're gonna delete that. So because we have the featured image here, publish this. Now let's have a look how it will appear in the post section. All right, that's how it looks like in the post section. So pretty decent. We have this beautiful theme right there instantly just by prompting using the free access of uh, ChatGPT5 right here. So we use the ChatGPT5. Make sure you always change the one to Smart GPT5 because by default, it's always in the quick response. So that's not the usual GPT5. You always need to select this option before you do prompting. So in that case, you will be able to have more intelligent LLM to follow your uh, custom prompt or your instruction. So that's gonna be our thing. We have the previous article and we have the next article. I wanna see the next article. So I'm just gonna create the second article right here. So this one right here, we have the how to tell a good quality carpet. And let me say the featured image, copy the title. I'm just gonna set the featured image and then copy the content right here. Make sure you remove this because it's also copying the image. Publish it and view the post. That's how beautiful our post is. And we have the previous article and we scroll down here. We have the next article and the previous article. Let's go to the home page and I need to see how it's gonna look in the latest post. So here, when you click this start reading, this is beautiful. The home page is really beautiful. So we have the latest post right here. We have the nice footer right there. And if you need further changes, you can always go back to your GPT-5 window and then prompt right here. Suppose you want to change something in the template, then just keep prompting. That's about it guys. So hope you get some info out of this and see you on the next one.